In a city known for sunny days, rooftops across Fort Collins are valuable real estate for turning sunlight into electricity. In order for us to get a full string, we have to series multiple modules together. These are new solar panels going up on the roof of Braden Hall at Colorado State University. This is part of a new project on Colorado State University campus. We're going to get six new solar systems on roofs. Braden is just the first one. It's right at 100 kilowatts. The biggest will be on the rec center. But CSU's energy engineer says the university isn't paying for these panels that will feed electricity directly to the city power grid. Have you needed to do any shimming or anything? One partner, Namaste Solar, is installing the panels, while another partner, the Atmosphere Conservancy, owns the panels and will sell the electricity to the city of Fort Collins. This actually doesn't cost the university anything. It's third party owned. We lease the roof in the same way we would lease the roof to a Verizon tower. And basically it's an uh, initiative by the utility to try to purchase local solar projects and purchase the energy from that uh, for the city's uh, portfolio of clean energy initiatives. Switch. This engineer with the city of Fort Collins says the new solar power purchase program lets the university take part in a sustainability program that's a key part of requirements for electric utilities. Certainly this project and ones like it are helping the municipal utility meet its Colorado Renewable Energy Standard uh, requirements, which is 10% of our power from clean energy by 2020. Right now we're just torquing the uh, PD panels down to the, uh, the rack, the mounting system. Solar panels at CSU already produce about 5,500 kilowatts, and these new panels at six sites will increase that production by about 20 percent. All totaled, enough electricity coming from panels at CSU to power 1,200 homes. We're helping the city meet their goals and meet some of our environmental goals all at the same time.